Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a molecular weight standard curve for your SDS page gel using Excel. So what we have here is a gel from a previous semester on the left and we have our molecular weight ladder on the right. So what we're going to do is calculate our migration distance for each of the bands in our ladder lane here. So the first thing we're going to do is just draw a line at the top. You can do it from the top of the gel. You can do it from the top of the wells. It does not really matter. Just be consistent. So here's where I'm going to measure from. So now we're going to measure. You can use a ruler. You can do it on paper or on the screen. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which units you use. Just once again, make sure you're being consistent. So we're going to go ahead and measure from this green line to our first band. And we get 1.7 centimeters. And so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for each of the other bands. And then we're going to take this information and we're going to plot it in Excel. All right, so now we're in Excel. I've already entered our data for our migration distance and our molecular weight. But before we can create our standard curve, we have to calculate the log molecular weight. So to do that, we're going to come to cell C2 here. We're going to type in this formula equals log parentheses, and then we're going to click on the B2 cell, close the parentheses and hit enter. And then we're going to double click the bottom right of the cell to calculate it for every one of our bands. All right, so now we can go ahead and create our scatter plot. So we'll click anywhere else on the worksheet, go to insert, scatter plot. Go ahead and make it a little bit smaller and make our image over here a little bit smaller. So let's click on our scatter plot, right click, and select data. We'll add a series. For our x values, we want that to be our migration distance. And our y values will be the log molecular weight. All right, let's go ahead and add a trend line here. So add chart element, trend line, linear. Click on our trend line. Format selection. We'll add our equation and our R squared score on the graph. So now let's go ahead and clean our graph up a little bit. We'll get rid of the title. We can add some axes labels. So design. Our x axis is migration distance. And I measured this in centimeters. And our y axis is molecular, log molecular weight. Go ahead and format our number for the y axis with one decimal place. And we'll add a figure caption. So insert text box. Go ahead and bold this and remove the border. All right, so now what can we do with this? Well, let's say we wanted to estimate the molecular weight of one of the other bands in one of the other lanes on our gel. So how about this one right here? Let's say I measure this distance to be 8.2 centimeters. So we can use our equation here to calculate what the molecular weight of that protein is. So let's just come to any empty cell on our worksheet and we'll type in our equation. So we have equals minus 0 
one, two, three, four times x. x is going to be our migration distance. So for this band right here, we have a migration distance of 8.2 centimeters plus 2.5076. All right, so we get 1.49572, but that's not our molecular weight because the y-axis is log molecular weight. So whenever you see log written and it doesn't include the base, it's implied that the base is 10. So to get our molecular weight, we'll just go to another blank cell and that equals 10 raised to this power. So that means the approximate molecular weight of the protein in this band right here is 31.3 kilodaltons. So that should do it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or ask in the comments. Thanks, guys.